Hi friends, it's Mrs. Fontenot here. Today we are going to learn how to draw a penguin and we are going to make a cool background. So you're going to need a pencil to draw your penguin. You may want a marker to trace it afterwards so you can see the lines to color it in. And then you can use a few different things. You can use crowns if you have crowns. You can use markers if you have markers. Or what I'm going to use are some watercolor paints. So if you have some watercolor paints and a paintbrush and a cup of water, go ahead and get your supplies ready. You can use paint, crowns, or markers. And then you need to have a pencil and maybe a marker to trace over with. So go ahead and pause the video for a minute and get those items ready and then come back and, re and restart the video <laughs> and we will learn how to draw a penguin. So we're going to start with learning how to draw the hat for the penguin. So up here at the top, I'm just going to draw a circle. Okay, easy peasy. So go ahead and do that. See? How I have my paper long ways. I'm not sideways because I'm going to turn it long ways, okay? Now I want to kind of make a triangle. So I'm going to make lines down on both sides. I don't want to go too far. I don't want too big of a hat. And then I'm going to kind of close it. And look, this is why we use a pencil. My line on that side was a little big, so I had to erase it. So then after you do that, you're going to kind of make the bottom part of your hat. So you're going to come out a little, okay, on each side. And then you're going to close your hat like that. Good job. And now we want to make some penguin feet down here because we're going to connect our body to it. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the page, scoot my paper up a little, and down here I'm going to draw some penguin feet. I'm going to make some webbed toes because penguins have webbed toes. And I'm going to do one on each side. And then I'm going to kind of just draw a line across to make the bottom part of his body. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to finish his body. So I'm going to draw it up all the way to his hat on both sides. And maybe you want to make it a little more flush with the hat to make him a little bit bigger so you can do that and again this is why we use pencils so if we need to erase and fix it we can but it doesn't have to look perfect so now I have a big fat penguin <laughs> so now what I want to do is I want to make the part of his body where his face and stomach is okay so I'm going to do kind of a curved line to a point and then another curved line Okay, and the same thing to match on the other side. Then I'm going to make his flippers. So up here, I'm just going to make an arm and put it back like that to make a flipper. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, coming down, and then we're going to slide backwards. Okay. Then I need to make some eyes. And a beak for his nose and mouth. He has a beak. Okay. And there is my cute little penguin. He's not perfect. He's got some lopsided arms and that's okay. He doesn't have to be perfect. I can fix this arm though, because that one's really big compared to that. There, that's a little better. 
All right, so now what I want to do is I want to color my penguin. And before I do that, I'm going to outline it with my marker. That way, when I paint, it doesn't erase my penguin and I can still see what I drew. So I'm just tracing along my lines that I made for my penguin. And this is something that you can do too. That way when I color and paint him, you can still see what I made. Cool thing about penguins is they're a bird. Did you know that penguins are a bird? But even though they're a bird, they don't fly. Did you know that? Did you know that penguins don't fly? No, they swim and slide and run, but they do not fly. We're going to learn more about penguins this week, or you can learn about it on your own by looking on Epic Books or on YouTube. All right, so now I'm going to get my paint ready, and I'm going to show you how to paint the penguin. Well, you can paint the penguin however you want and how to do the background, okay? So give me just a second, and you can get your supplies ready also. All right, I have my paint and my water ready. Now, if you don't have paint, you can use markers or crayons. I'm going to start by coloring my black part of my penguin. I'm going to make a black penguin. You can make whatever color you want. Whenever we use watercolors, you have to get water on your brush and mix it around in the paint so that it will actually work. And then you want to paint. Oops, there's some brown mixed in that black. <laughs> We might have a brown penguin. And then I want you to paint very gently, okay? Miss Markstein taught us that it's like a ballerina, a ballerina dancing on her tippy toes. You don't wanna squish it down. You wanna do gentle strokes. And if your paint starts to get dry, then you can get some more water to put on it. get some more color. That's why we call it watercolors because we're putting water on it. And even though my black looks a little brown, that's okay. I'm gonna keep doing this. You can have a brown penguin, you can have a rainbow penguin, you can have a purple penguin. Your penguin can be whatever color you want. Maybe I should have had a pink penguin. You guys know I like pink. All right, so I've got his body painted. Now, when you want to change colors, you've got to swish the brush in the water really good and see my water is changing colors so you can clean it off. So now I'm going to go to orange because I'm going to do his feet and his beak orange. And I got to get it wet so it will paint. And see there we have orange. I can do orange down here on his feet. Maybe you want to give him purple feet. You don't have to do it just like mine. You can make it however. And remember, if you don't have paint, you can be using crowns or markers. Now I'm going to change and I'm going to do his hat. And I'm going to leave his body white because penguin's bodies are white. But for his hat, let's do, I'm going to do some purple. So I need to get some water in my purple. purple hat. And then I'm going to do the top with some blue. So again, I've got to clean off my brush, put water in the blue so it will work. And then I've got to gently brush. Remember ballerina dancing on her tiptoes, no smushing the brush. And I'll give Penguin some blue eyes too. How about that? And just to be fun, since we just had Valentine's Day, I'm going to paint a heart on his tummy. He gets a heart sticker. Just for fun, he can be a Valentine penguin. You don't have to put a heart on yours. I'm just doing it for fun. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to paint my background, okay? And you can do any colors you want. You can do a rainbow background. 
You can do like a sunset. I'm going to do a mix. I'm going to start with some blue down here, like the snow and ice. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of do it so it turns a light blue. So I want a little bit more water. You can be painting yours at the same time. Doesn't have to be perfect. Painting is fun and it's very relaxing. Oops, and see, I got a spill. So you know what you can do when you get a spill? Is you can actually get like a paper towel. Well, I'm gonna grab a tissue because that's what I have. And you can just dot it with your tissue or your paper towel and it will soak it up. Now I'm painting some more blue. So I want you to go ahead and work on this. I'm gonna pause this for a minute and finish mine and show you the finished product. And then you can turn the video off and finish painting or coloring and just have fun, okay? All right, so I finished my background on my penguin. I made his ice around him and then I just made like a pretty sunset picture. Again, you can do whatever kind of background you want. You could even put some snow in the background, like maybe I wanted to make some snowflakes. I can make some snowflakes in my picture, okay? You could do it with whatever color you want. So go ahead and have fun and make your penguin, and I can't wait to see pictures of your adorable penguin. I'll see you all soon. Great job today.